Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, in between processing of the videos, like I was letting the video process out of my uh, capture equipment, and then moving it into Premiere and all that other nonsense, uh, I may have rocked out to Sailor Moon theme songs for the last 20 minutes. So all I have in my head right now is a Sailor Moon theme song in Japanese. So I have Pretty Princess uh, shiny makeup stuck in my head. So if I like burst out into that in Japanese, like here in the next, I don't know, hour or so, don't be offended because I don't care. And that's all that's gonna happen. Exactly. So we're all on the same page. We all are aware that, that Dominic is gonna sing some Sailor Moon here in a minute. But uh, we're gonna drink, which is only gonna make me sing Sailor Moon even more. Yeah, we're still gonna drink. Uh, three to one cheers. Uh, where the fuck is my controller? <laughs> there we go. Let's roll. <laughs> Fucking Garrett. Don't be a bitch. You're not gonna fall. I bet if you're gonna fall inside the thing. You need yeah, those you're one to talk, back. John. Fucking snow. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. Finn's a bully. Couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black, and that's all you'll ever do. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. You might be right. He said worse about me. This is a pissing contest? He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. Damn right, I did. You're there. But the twins. Yes. I still don't understand. 3,000 men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and, and the next. The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. And that's what they were. Face they were cowards. Like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But it does you no good to think that way. I'd be dead too. Whatever You're alive. I thought, we could do a chance to do something more. With the nice watch. I'm really hoping the nice watch actually gets to do something at some point ever. Maybe. Zombies and dragons are great, but... By the way, just if you're wondering, I'm pretty sure you can't you actually freeze your balls off. I mean, you would Southerners die first, will call you I'm pretty sure. Northerners who will call you Craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. I don't care if they hate me. Let them think what they like. Ignoring them won't be as easy as you think. Watch me. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. <sighs> That's gotta be a sight, right? If you've never seen Beyond the Wall. It's like seeing the ocean for the first time, I'm sure. Why would they let me walk there? Such a weird ass I felt place the same to have first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here.
Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. It's a fraternity of sorts. Get used to the cold. Don't always get to choose your brothers. You won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. I swear that they would show that friggin' like torch. Like superimposed over the actual mountains. It seems we're back in King's Landing, but we're absolutely back in King's Landing. What the fuck are we doing? Mira. I'm here. But where are you? Who the fuck are we looking for? I'm confused. <gasps> uh, the view won't allow me to go this way, so I'm assuming we're supposed to go this way. <laughs> Fucking birds. Oh. I guess we're supposed to avoid. Yeah, the the cameras. Oh you shit! You're going? At this time of night. I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Ooh, um... Is there no way I can change your mind? Did you not hear me? Shit. At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. Who the fuck is this dude? I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. Thank you, Damien. It was my pleasure. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. I am sorry about this, Mira. Oh, shit. You've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. What? What are you talking about? I'll make this quick if that helps. Shit, I knew that was coming. Medicine God damn it. Suffer. the goddamn balcony and be done with it. No, this little dude's too good. But he does need to get out of here. You? What? What? What happened? What? You saved my life. He, he said I'd angered the wrong people. So someone sent him? What are you doing here? 
I heard yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. Damn right. Now I we need choose. to get rid of the fucking body. body. Someone might see me. I'll take care of you. I know a few places in Fleetwood. No one will ever find him. Good luck, and be careful. Thanks. We're kind of in this together, so I don't have much of a choice right, here. <gasps> Damien, where are you? Oh, oh. Better with me than just hiding out in some fucking bush. Initiation completed. That's... That's inappropriate. Fucking Ironwood. God, they had his neck scar and everything. Oof. Fucking Bolton. What's Gwyn Whitehill doing here? No idea. Hello, Roderick. Sir Ireland. It's been a while since we've met. Yes. The fuck do you want? Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to murder Asher for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? My lady. It's funny, but if they had just been allowed to be themselves, I because I know how hard maybe all of this wouldn't have happened, have you know? For you and your family. I know my words probably mean nothing to you. Thank you, Gwyn. I'm so sorry, Roderick. Your brother didn't deserve this. Neither of them did. Listen, I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage, but I think he deserves some news of him. I know it's little consolation. So you have news of Ryan? Yes, he's well. Not happy, but just know your brother is safe at High Point. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died. Because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... I thought you should know. Please help him, Gwyn. Don't let him believe what your father tells him. I've been doing my best to set him right. But he is only a child. He feels forgotten. Alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. And with each passing day, those Shit. words start to sound um. like truth. Tell him to stay strong. Have him repeat our house words every day until I come for him. Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. You know that. We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Hello, Gwyn. It's good to see you, Talia. I hope I can count on your discretion. Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Mother, come join the others. He should be here. He should be with his family. But instead, they send her. Gwen came here on her own. She wanted us to know Ryan is okay. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one, but his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. God, that's rough. My children. Our family is strong, Mother. We will not fall. Many men are strong, and still the night takes them. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? 
if you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds. No matter what, you must do it. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. I feel I need to tell her Remember this. That. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? She looks just like Talia. It's very strange to me. Very lazy. My father. He was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was always honorable. I never knew a better man. And I am. I am sorry. I love your father. Ethan. My little brother. He stood up to Ramsay Snow. He saved our sister's life and paid with his own. He was only a boy. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband, my love. And our Lord, Ethan. <laughs> My sweet little boy. <laughs> but now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. Uh, Iron from ice. For those of you don't know where I just took a shot, or just took a shot, cause uh, from iron from ice, baby. Was she gonna sing? From ice, from ice, we first is born. To ice, we all return. I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned. I'd bear my neck to will in pain and swim.
was incredibly depressing, and I'm assuming the end of the episode? I'm almost in tears, Jesus Christ. Yep, kinda figured as much. Probably could have this in three episodes if I had just done 45 minutes apiece, but that's okay. What is going on? What is going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Fuck him. Griff Whitehill needs to talk. Griff Whitehill needs to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. Right? It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. We won't. Form <laughs> up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. The fuck was I, like, picked out for? Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it. All the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about it. The Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else for you to be worried about? What was that? Oh no. That was a uh, animalistic. Oh, <laughs> nobody else forged the papers with me. I guess I made up for it. Uh, yeah, fuck you, dude. Wow, a bunch of people didn't win it. That makes me happy because we not only did this, we made up for this. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, yeah, we all stood up for that. And why would we not? Why would we not? People are assholes, basically. From eyes, from eyes, we forced Ah, pretty song. To okay, guys, I'm going to let it run through, but this is, uh, return. we're going to call it quits because this is the end of Game of Thrones, Episode 2, oh, The Lost Wars. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like I've down below. Let me know you appreciate the content, you want more of it, all the good jazz. Any comments, this criticism, suggestions, critiques, put it down in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. Until episode three, guys. Have a good night, and I will see you in the next part. Down their crowns, up high on Aegon's hill. In floods of gold, I pray they drown. For all the blood they spill. Fight on, fight on.